Okay guys, today we're talking toolboxes, more specifically uh, this DeWalt 52 inch steel toolbox. So, just picked up this new toolbox, like I said, it's a DeWalt 52 inch uh, steel, I guess they call it a chest. Um, cabinet combination because of this big um, open open area that they have up there. Um, I got mine at Home Depot, local Home Depot. Um, you're gonna pay about 850 bucks with tax. Uh, this is uh, the model number is DWMT74952. Uh, they had another one there. That looked identical. I couldn't really tell the difference between the two, but it was about two hundred dollars more. And also with with this toolbox, I got a I got a uh, Dewalt tool set, quarter inch, three inch dry socket set. That's about a thirty dollar uh, set if you go out and buy that. Um, the uh, top chest can hold 14,191 cubic inches. Uh, the bottom can hold 18,324 cubic inches. Um, it is uh, 52 inches wide. Um, I believe they're 18 inches, 18 inches deep. They're saying the height is 69 inches. Uh, it's got a, uh, I believe, a three-year warranty on this thing. 1,400-pound capacity. It's got 17, 17 drawers with a big, like I said, a big chest area. Um, it's got. Uh, Two fixed wheels and then uh, four swivels. 100 pound uh, drawer glides on the, on the drawers. Um, you got a 200 pound drawer glides on the bottom. The, uh, on these two bottom drawers, they say they're 12 inch drawers. 12 inches deep. Uh, these drawers only come out like halfway. Uh, they do that for safety reasons because if you actually have 200 pounds in here, I guess you can tip your whole toolbox over uh, if you open them all the way. So there are safety stops on there. They are just plastic. They're just plastic stops and you can take them off which allows these bottom drawers to actually open all the way and actually you can actually use this drawer now. Uh, I don't see how I'm going to put 200 pounds in these drawers. So um, I guess I'll show you guys how to take the stops off if you want to do the modification. Uh, do that at your own risk though. Um, they got, like I said, there's a big chest area right here. You got gas struts on both sides. You got the Dewalt name. That ain't a decal, that's painted. Um, you got a nice mat here. On top, you got two areas for your plugs to go through. Uh, this is really meant, I believe, for um, your, your Dewalt cordless tools. They can actually stand up in here. You ain't got to lay them down or nothing. You can bring your charger or plug your charger in. Every battery's all right there. Um, you know, it, it's a nice toolbox. It's, uh, I know it's heavier than crap because me and Dad struggled to, to get this thing unloaded. Um, it's got uh, handles on both sides for this uh, tool chest. And like I said, it, I mean, it's heavy. It is heavy. Uh, I mean, it feels like a a good toolbox to me. Uh, they got uh, what well, seems like a uh, really nice, uh, really nice drawers. 
they have what they call a, uh, what do they call it? An auto return drawer. That's what they're calling this. And, and what this is, is I guess it, it holds the drawers from coming open. But it's just you push it so far and then it pops in. It pops into that. They're not soft closed drawers like uh, the, the Milwaukee toolbox has that has a soft close. They call these, uh, I guess, auto close. I think they'll work better um, once you get weight in them. They, they seem kind of jerky now, but. Um, the uh, paint is, of course, Dewalt yellow. More of a, it's like a matte finish on it. It's, it's not shiny at all. Um, there is no chrome on this thing at all. It's, uh, the handles are black. They might, on the video, they might show up like there's a little chrome strip on these, but there is no chrome on this. Um, black handles, even the, the locks are black. And you get, it does lock, uh, they are keyed the same. You can't buy this combination separate, you can't buy the top separate, you can't buy the bottom separate. You gotta buy the whole, the whole deal, so. Um, I, I, I just picked this up, like I said, wanted to show you guys uh, that I originally went to, uh, to the store looking at a 36 inch. And a 36 inch D wall, which is quite a bit smaller than this. But I was looking to get two, two bottoms. I wasn't looking to get a whole setup like this. Um, they actually didn't have um, two of the 36 inch. They had one that was kind of uh, uh, busted up a little bit. But I saw this, actually at first I saw the, the 998 one. Like I said, I don't really know the difference. I did notice that um, they had dual drawer slides. This one has one on each side, and there's also a drawer slide in the middle, on this middle drawer. But, but it's a nice big, nice big drawer. Uh, all the drawers, kind of seem uh, skinny to me, kind of, uh, they're not very deep. Uh, but I think what D. Walt's thinking was is that, uh, that uh, because they give you this big area right here, this big tool chest, I guess they figure you don't need any really deep drawers. Um, I guess I'll find out how that's going to work out once I start loading this thing down with tools. Uh, this toolbox is actually going to replace probably uh, uh, two older boxes that we have, an older Craftsman and then a, uh, here's an old rem line over behind my trailer. We're going to empty that out and we're going to just jump that. Uh, we'll, we'll probably repurpose the Craftsman, but uh, um, I can't really do a review on this toolbox because I'll all I did was really unpack it and I played with the drawers. Um, the review is going to have to come later once I get some time with this thing. But my, my first impressions is, um, you know, it's a really nice, really nice toolbox. It seems to be, uh, seems to be well built. I know it is very heavy, very heavy. Um, and how do you go around with Dewalt? Um, I can't, I, I mean, I can't think of one bad thing to say about any DeWalt I've ever, I've ever bought. Uh, we're pretty heavily invested in the, uh, the 18 volt stuff. We got quite a few drills. I got an impact and an um, impact driver. And we've got quite a few batteries, chargers. Um, can't, I, I can't think of anything bad to say about. We've got Dewalt grinders; they're awesome. Um, we got several of those. Um, just the 
a great company. Uh, you don't find very many companies that are, uh, you can't say anything bad about. Uh, I think 3M comes to mind as one of those companies that everything you buy from them is just, is, is a good product. Dewalt's the same way. <clears throat> um, I'm pretty sure they don't make this box, but they put their name on it. And uh, um, I think the box is going to represent their name uh, uh, pretty good because, like I said, the first impressions um, feels like a really nice box. So, um, I guess uh, I guess that's all I got to say, guys. Um, can't think of much else to say about the box. Uh, I, they only had uh, two at our local uh, Home Depot. Well, now they got one because I took one, but uh, um, I honestly didn't even know about the 52 inch until I walked in the store, um, saw the 52 inch. And uh, for 850, I think it's a good deal. Um, hard, to, hard to go wrong at 850 for this. Um, I guess that's it. I gotta start uh, figuring out what I'm gonna do with this. This is actually, um, it's going over in the one, one side there on the opposite side of the, the uh, workbench. I'm trying to, the whole reason I got this, I was trying, I'm trying to clean the shop up. My never ending battle to uh, try to organize this shop. Uh, I wasn't really after a whole toolbox, but this is kind of what I ended up with. So uh, kind of got to rework my plans. I had a plan of, of getting um, just some bottoms and, and working around that, but now I got a whole deal. Um, but this should help get the uh, drills off the, off the workbench and maybe a few other things off the workbench. And uh, like I said, probably going to replace two other boxes. So um, I think it'll be worth it. I think this is going to actually uh, give us more space in the shop. And every ounce of space we can get in the shop is, uh, is going to be beneficial. So. Um, I guess guys, uh, that's going to do it for me today. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the uh, overview of this 52 inch uh, Dewalt toolbox. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.